Today we are gonna go through the process of making this really simple yet really impressive PS1, PSX, Post Process Shader for Unreal Engine 4. This is much more of a quick tutorial to show you how you can implement the shader to your project and not to explain how the math or logic behind it works. In our content browser we are gonna right click, select material and give it a name. Then open the material up, go on the left hand side, select material domain and change it from surface to post process. The first thing we will have to do is to create a bunch of nodes. If I'm going too fast, please just pause the video. The first node is the screen position node. Drag the viewport UV pin and create a component mask node. Drag the output of the component mask node and create a multiply node. Now drag the output of the multiply node to create a floor node and finally drag the output of the floor node to create a divide node. Now we have to add a scalar parameter node. You can do it by right clicking and searching for it or just press 1 and left mouse button. In that case you have to make it a parameter. You could name it something like scale and set the default value to something like 250. Now drag the output of scale and create a floor node. Drag the output of floor to the input of multiply and to the input of divide. Now drag the output of divide and create a scene texture node. Make sure to go to the left side and change the scene texture ID from scene color to post process input 0. And once again we have to create a bunch of nodes, so if it's going too fast, just pause for a second. Drag the output of color to create a multiply node. Then drag the output of multiply to create a seal node. And drag the output of seal to create a divide node. Now connect the divide to a massive color. We are missing one part and that's to create a scalar parameter once again and call it multiply. You could set the default value to something like 15 and then drag the multiply parameter to the multiply node and to the divide node. And there you go. Now save everything and let's get back to the scene view. Right click the material and create a material instance out of it. Now go to the upper left side and search for post process volume. Drag the post process volume into the scene. Everything that's in this collider zone will show the shader material. If you want the zone to go through the entire scene, go on the right side and search for bound. Now activate the checkbox infinite extend unbound. Now delete the search and go down until we can find post process materials. Create a material by pressing on the plus icon and make it a asset reference. Now you can drag the material instance into the array and your shader scene is done. Another thing. By clicking on the material instance, you can change the scale and multiply to fit your art style. And that's everything for this tutorial. Subscribe if it was helpful and you want to see more. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.